Hello, my name is Adriana Teodora Dyer. I am a tarot based life consultant and I have a message for the water signs today. This is for Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. We have the Hanged Man, followed by the Four of Wands, and going into the world. This is one of my favorite readings ever. <laughs> I just love this reading. So what this reading is talking about is the value of surrendering. Okay. Fire signs, or fire, I'm sorry. Water signs have, are usually very in touch with what they want. Okay. You know, on a deep level, what you want and you know what other people also want because of your sensitivity. Um, however, in order at this point in time right now, this week, in order to get what you'd really like to have, need to be willing to give it up, to surrender, okay, to just let go. And um, for some of us with, with control stuff, that's not fun. You tell somebody to let go and they're like, oh, no, 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 I can't let go because then I won't know what happens. I don't know what happens next. Um, but the point is, in order to get closer to your heart's desire, you have to give up. You have to surrender yourself to what's happening right now, okay? Now, I don't mean to stay in a situation that's not positive. I don't mean surrender yourself to something that's abusive. I mean, let yourself be guided by your higher instincts. Okay, surrender to your higher instincts. That's what I believe I'm trying to say here. So this is not do what your logical mind says. This says surrender to your intuition, to surrender to your higher self, your higher guidance. Okay, and it's the surrendering that gives you the foundation. And it's not just a foundation, this is a joyous celebration. It gives you, it puts you on the stepping stone towards whatever it is that you desire, okay? And um, I should put these two together. That's what we're saying here. In order to get to here, you have to surrender because the surrendering itself builds the foundation for your heart's desire to come in. This heart's desire card is very personal to you. This can be anything, really. It can be um, a new love in your life. It can be a new pet in your life. It can be a new job. It can be a new whole way of life. But it's something that you desire at the deepest part of your being, okay? This is something spiritual. So it's probably not so mundane as, oh, I just need a new job. This is maybe I need a job where I use my talents, or I need a job where I'm respected, or I need a job that's more meaningful to me, where I can contribute to my community in a new way. So I hope that's kind of making sense. It's not just the thing. It's not just a material thing. There's a deeper reason why you want this thing, why you want this heart's desire. And it, again, in order to get it, you just need to surrender yourself to your higher wisdom, your higher knowledge because that gives you the foundation to build this special thing. So, you know, what does this really mean? It's always a brave path to follow your intuition because it just doesn't look right <laughs> to other people. You know, other people have a different intuition than you. And many people right now are not following their intuition. So for someone to be following your intuition, it just doesn't look right. So it takes a certain bravery, not just with yourself, but with how it might look to other people to just let go and to let, let your truer self take over, let your higher self take over. This may also mean kind of upsetting the status quo when you let go to what your higher self wants because we put ourselves in these roles that not only we are we uh, comfortable in, but other people are comfortable with us in those roles because it's very nice for them. We end up doing everything for them. But this is about surrendering that if necessary, surrendering that thing because your higher self is like, I'm ready to be in the driver's seat now, okay? This is me. This is my truth. I'm ready to be here. To heck with the other stuff that came before. So there's just such a soft but happy energy in these cards. So again, I said these are my favorite spread. It is my favorite spread so far. Um, so the message for you encapsulated this week is just to surrender to that intuition. Wherever it tells you to go, that is a true desire that's been formed at the bottom of your soul and you have to go that direction. And just understand that the minute you surrender, you are building your foundation, you are on your way to getting to your goal. So no matter what happens, how hard the path is, how much your life changes, you are doing the right thing. 
Okay. I hope this was helpful to you. I would love it if you'd comment or please subscribe if you haven't so you can get these weekly messages. I do these readings every week. And I'd also like to invite you to share these videos with other people and just help me spread the word, get more positive energy out there. If you're curious for a one-on-one -on -one tarot reading, I'm happy um, to do one for you. I'm available. Just please um, reach out in the email below or visit my website for all that kind of nuts and bolts information. So I hope you have a great week. Let me know how it goes. I'm anxious to hear how my favorite spread turns out for you. So have a great week. We'll see you next time.